Hey guys, it's Brian from Motion AI, and today we're going to go over the newly updated UI with a multiple choice module. Let's get started. So we've made a few changes recently with the Motion AI Bot Builder user interface and I wanted to go over that and in this one we're going to walk through how to set up a multiple choice module. Now a multiple choice module is going to be used when you want to have the user's response, what they reply with, matched against a fixed set of options. Now, one thing that happens a lot of times is we'll see people are trying to use a multiple choice module and they'll be telling us it doesn't work. And the reason why is they have set up quick replies, but they haven't actually set up the multiple choice options. Now, why do we use a multiple choice module? Well, like I said, we have a fixed set of options we want to match against. So. If for some reason, and let's in this example, let's say we want to have them uh, choose a color. So what color do you like is what we're going to ask them. So we put that into the initial response, just like normal. And let's say that we down here, we have blue, yellow, and red. Now, we only want to match against blue, yellow, and red, and we're only giving them the options of blue, yellow, and red. Normally, in like a bot statement module, that's where you would end, and you would have to have them exactly put in blue, yellow, or red, or anything else they wanted to put in, but it would have to be exactly matched as I have it typed here. In this case, if you notice, I have each letter, the first letter, actually capitalized. Well, when we use a multiple choice module, we're going to actually be able to handle things like spelling mistakes, capitalization differences, that kind of thing. We also are going to be able to match against things like uh, I like red or I like blue or red is my favorite color. So after we put this in here, we have our quick replies and our initial responses. We're going to want to go over to settings. And when we click on settings, we're going to see this come up here. Now, we have our usual module webhook option in here. And down here, we have multiple choice settings. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put in lowercase blue, yellow, red, and whatever you want to do. Now, remember, these are not actually displayed if you have them set here. So if you didn't have any quick replies, they wouldn't see the options. They, they would have to essentially be guessing or you would be using that in, a, in some sort of a way where you'd want to know that they were going to reply one of those responses. Now the other thing too here is under spelling strictness. This is a new feature that we've added in here and basically what it is is 100% strictness means that if they don't put it in exactly correct then it's not going to match and as you move this slider down it's going to get more and more lenient on spelling. So, I mean, at this point down here, if they spelled blue, B-L-O-O, -O, it would probably work. The default is 85% because that's about what most people end up uh, spelling correctly. You know, they're, they're around an 85% spelling correction rate. So, we're, that's all we have to do here. Now, the last thing that we can do, and let's just go and add this in here. Let's add in a couple of bot statement modules. So this one, we're going to just have it say, you chose blue. And uh, let's have to add in one more and say, you chose red. You chose red. And those are just for the example here. So when we go up to our connections, we're going to have instead of normally just having it be the response to this module contains, we're actually going to do choice from this module contains blue, and we're going to have that go to our... Oh, I didn't name that. We need to rename this. So we just click on settings, blue, and we'll call this one red. That way, that way we can find them. So we go back to our connections and we choose choice from this module contains blue. We're going to go to blue. And if choice from this module 
contains red, we're going to go to red. It's that simple. We hit save changes. There are connections. Now let's test the bot. What color do you like? I'm going to say blue. You chose blue. It's that simple. So the takeaways here, if you're using a multiple choice module, you have to make sure that you set both the multiple choice options. And if you feel like you need to, you can also set quick replies. But quick replies alone will not work. You need to make sure that you fill in under settings the multiple choice options. And just to recap one last time, that is under settings right down here at the bottom for a multiple choice module. That's all guys. Have fun building your bots and we'll be back next time.